Daniel Medvedev versus Novak Djokovic is a final group stage match for these guys for the ATP Finals for 2022. And both guys have a different roads to get to this stage. Daniel Medvedev started the season off as the world number two. And as we know, he was number one in the world a couple of times this year, up until the US Open where Alcaraz took over and Medvedev dropped down the rankings before settling down at number five in the world heading into these finals. His win-loss record, 43 wins, 19 losses. Not as many wins as some of the other guys because he was out injured for most of the clay court season. So he didn't get a chance to play a lot of the matches while others did and he had a very tough time in finals this year two titles from the five finals that he played his only titles being in Los Cabos and Vienna a few weeks ago his best win was against Stefano Sidipas, the world number four at the time at the Australian Open but his worst loss was against the 284th ranked Vavrinka who was on the comeback and that was at Mets it's been a very strange season for Medvedev some highs of being world number one but also some lows of missing opportunities Djokovic started the year off as a world number one and as most of you know he was unable to defend a lot of the points due to politics getting involved and him not not being allowed to play many of the tournaments throughout the season and while he did maintain his number one ranking for most of the first six months after Wimbledon he dropped down the ranks finishing at number eight in the world his record this season considering he didn't play that much 37 wins seven losses winning four out of the six finals that he played winning in Rome and Wimbledon at the start of the season and then in recent weeks winning in Tel Aviv and Astana and of course who can forget that Paris final he played only a week ago. His best win against the world number four at the time, Medvedev in Astana, and his worst loss coming in his first event of the season, all the way back in late February against Vesely, the 123 in the world in Dubai. So I guess you can kind of put an asterisk next to that loss, considering it was Djokovic's first time back for almost three months at that time. These guys have played 11 times before with Djokovic leading the head to head 7-4, and their last meeting being in Astana a few months ago with Medvedev almost getting the win, but having to retire due to a leg injury. If Medvedev's going to win this one, he needs to play aggressive because he's been so defensive in his last two matches, standing so far behind the baseline. He needs to step up a little bit and be more aggressive. He also has to hit the forehand well. His forehand's been way off in this tournament. He served well, but his forehand's been terrible for his standard. So he has to get the forehand working, and I think he has to be more aggressive. Otherwise, Djokovic is going to eat him up. If Nole's going to win, he's just got to play like he has been. He's been so good at this tournament. Vintage Djokovic at times. He's just got to be aggressive as well and use the court to his advantage and take advantage of Medvedev's poor tennis over the last couple of matches and maybe even poor confidence because Medvedev's confidence after losing two close matches is going to be shot. This is going to be a really fun matchup. These guys played an epic match in Astana a couple of months ago. Even though Medvedev had to retire that match, which was disappointing, it was really, really fun. But I think Djokovic is going to win this one. He has been so good throughout this tournament, beating both Tsitsipas and Rublev really without breaking much of a sweat. And the way Medvedev's playing right now, I just have no confidence in him beating Djokovic, who is on fire. So I'm going to go with Norway in maybe a close straight set. But let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this final match.